Hey folks, welcome to another solutions video. Today's topic is eight gasket myths. Whether it is material selection or gasket installation, we hear frequently the same common questions. So today we are going to go through the eight common gasket myths we commonly hear. Myth number one, thicker gasket material is better. People commonly think using thicker gasket material will help with excessive gaps or misaligned flanges. What people do not consider is creep relaxation and torque retention that is affected when using thicker material. If you want to improve these issues, you can use thinner materials. Myth number two, gasket color indicates the same material. People always say, I've always used a blue gasket, so it must be right. Color can be essentially meaningless. Some competitors will use the same color for all of their product lines. But you should always check the pressure, temperature, and media of the product to make sure you're using the right material. Myth number three, torque values are the same for all gasket materials. When looking at torque values, you should always refer to the bolting material, K-factor, and the maximum working pressure that is used. You should also keep in mind that for soft gaskets, the maximum compression is 15,000. And for SWGs, CAM profiles, and Durtex, we have a maximum compression of 20,000 to 30,000. If you keep these in mind, you will probably not crush the gasket. Myth number four. Leaking gaskets just need to be retorqued. If a gasket is leaking, do not retighten. Particularly with soft gasket materials, it can be extremely dangerous to do hot torquing. Once compressed gaskets reach an elevated temperature, they become brittle and further tightening can cause them to crack. This can further increase the leak or even cause the gasket to blow out. If a gasket is leaking, it should be replaced. Myth number five, gaskets are made the same and perform the same way. There are many ways to manufacture sheet materials. For example, there's the Skive method and the calendar method. Both of these give the same results. The information given on gasket technical data sheets do not help with the performance of the gasket. This data is given for QC purposes only. For more information, send us an email and we will get right back to you. Myth number six, lubricant is a great way to hold a gasket in place during the installation process. This is not a good idea for two reasons. Number one, the lubricant or grease can cause the gasket to be chemically attacked. And number two, Using grease or lubricant can cause the gasket to be pushed out by the system pressure. Now remember, we are trying to have the gasket fill in the flange serrations. By adding lubricant or grease, we are not allowing for the flange surface to bite into the gasket. By doing this, you are negating what we are trying to achieve. So don't do it. Myth number seven, softer materials seal better. Firmness is also referred to the material's ability to resist flow. Softer materials are not necessarily better, but are good for applications that are using worn or uneven flanges. It is quite common for materials to creep more when they are softer, so this may not be a desirable trait when choosing a gasket material. Myth number eight. Gasket installation procedure doesn't affect the sealing performance. Gasket installation procedure is the most influential factor when talking about sealing performance. If you do not use the correct methods, such as the legacy method, you run the risk of not getting the most out of your gasket. Using a proper installation method helps the installer bring the flanges in parallel, which will prevent crushing the gasket or unevenly distributing the stress. And that's a wrap, so take it from the expert, because this girl knows what she's talking about.